in Coffee County and join together as a community for that. The other thing that uh, I want to thank everybody for their support of is the uh, ribbon cutting for the Pink House. Uh, Sorority Beta Sigma Phi does the Passionately Pink Month of October. We have a facility now that's basically been partially donated uh, for our use and um, this is behind the old located behind the old creamery there and uh, we're really excited about having that and and kind of having an anchor to what we do we feel so um, the other thing I want to mention is of course to congratulate our um, graduates of South Georgia State College those who um, attended graduation and uh, realized we, we again had the privilege the night before graduation to attend a dinner and the guest speaker was um, a, uh, a graduate many many years ago with um, uh, you know of South Georgia College at that time and has gone on to do great things uh, doctor with Emory um, Hospital and came and spoke to that group so we commend them on those graduation exercises I uh, want to mention what mention one thing that's on the community calendar and that's the political forum that's coming up and I cannot stress the importance of this to learn as much as we can about our politicians about those who are seeking office um, I think that's a good time for us to to get to know them we have our high school graduation also coming up on May the 21st and I want everybody to keep those families in mind again congratulations to those students and then again uh, coming up at the end of the month is Memorial Day so we want to remember those folks in uh, in the best way possible and honor those who served so thank you mayor that's all outstanding Commissioner good evening everybody I like to thank everybody for their prayers and concern um, about me and the accident and everything I'm doing great I'm here but um, we also want to tell the community, please take advantage of the junk day and um, that's provided and um, so that you may can possibly get the yard of the year, the yard of the month. And um, also we um, were praying for all the families of the deceased, um, our male pro temp and her family, which is my family. We're praying for you all. And also we're praying for um, principal, I mean, Principal Coach um, Clayton Mathis, his family, and we also plan for praying for Mrs. J um, Jill Starling, if I'm not Jill mistaken. Starling. What's her name? Jill. Jill mm -hmm, Starling. Attorney. Attorney, Jill. Attorney. In her passing, we praying for those families in our community and everything. And um, also, you know, graduation is approaching us, and we're gonna ask that all students please be safe. Please be safe, and um, we thank God for destination graduation because you go to school, you know, all those years, and <coughs> finally get to graduate, go to college, go to the service, and go pursue whatever you want to do. Just always know that you can dream big, and you beca you can become what you want to be, and you can achieve anything that you want to achieve, and everything. And um, that's approximately that's all that I have to say. I'll thank stand. you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Doing better. Thank you, sir. Good deal. <laughs> Mr. Roper? Yes, sir. You know, I am, I'm just thrilled to be here. Uh, I'm so happy to know that uh, those seniors out at Senior Center, we planted the last seed down there last week. And today, Jacob told me he got me a curtain to cover up my mustard green. They say mustard green won't grow this in the seed. We're going to seed them and we're going to grow them out of that. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to cover them up. But it, it's been really exciting to, to break with those people that right ahead of me. You know, that, uh, it, you know it, it gives me so much joy to see them excited like they are at their age. You know. But I'm coming on. I'm slow but I'm coming. But uh, I was also happy to see, and I, and I trust that we will get something on the ground for our Miracle Club, our Miracle Ball Club for our Handicapped Cure. We're close to nine, we've been in over 100 years, and I, I'm not going to let up until we see, get something on the ground for those children can come out of those houses and mangle and tangle with all of us and play with the normal children. 
and well as with themselves. I'm so happy to see that we are right here at it, and we're going to be soliciting fun people throughout this community. And I know they're coming forward with it, and they're going to turn it over to the gym over there to the arts and recreation, whatever contribution they got to send in for this miracle field for those children. I want you to help them, and God going to help them. Well, we're going to solicit funds, and we ain't going to cry about no money. We're going to get the money. Amen. And we're going to build the field out there. We got the field. We're just going to put something on it. <laughs> we go going to put something on it. So people in this community have always stepped forward. And I'm sure they're not going to turn tail and run now. They're going to pick up the pieces, and they're going to come together, and they're going to send us some contributions. And we're going to get money like we as a politician. I want people to vote now. We got early vote going on. Mm -hmm. I want them to vote, but I want them to know who to who to vote for. Because the decision they make now is gonna happen, gonna hurt them four years from now. And I want them to find out who these people are. Don't come and ask me on election day. Find out yourself who they are. We got some fine candidates now. We got some fine people that's in office that need to stay in office. And we want to make sure that they stay there. It's been an asset for this total community, from the judgeship to the probate judge, all the way down. Half and all. We got people that have really been concerned about this community and have put their whole life in it and done a good job. So I want people that think they can't be there on election day to get up now and go on down there and cast a little vote and come on by and I get them a soda. <laughs> I get them a soda. But uh, I want everybody to be counted in and not counted out because one way or the other you vote. Whether you go down and cast it and you get the person that you choose from, or you stay home and let somebody else choose it for you. Mm -hmm. Do that for me and for yourself. It's important. Thank you so much, Matt, for letting me participate in this round. So, <laughs> senior citizens, all right? Well, yeah. represented down there. Yes, yeah, so you know, when I'm knocking on the door. You knocking on the door. And I just like to do this when I go down there to see them. Some of them hit of me. Uh -huh. They see them so jolly, you know, seeing me. They, 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 you know, everybody going to live 100 years. <laughs> 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 yeah, this will happen, though. We're going to make it happen. Mayor Pro Champ, uh, <laughs> your comments, and I'm glad that you were able to join us. And yes, I'm sorry right. about the passing. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to... Um, Thank all of you for keeping my family in your prayers uh, during this difficult time. Uh, the funeral arrangements, arrangements for my nephew uh, will be held Saturday, this Saturday, uh, May the 14th at 12 o'clock noon at Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. Um, I just thank you for your prayers. Uh, Jarvis Coley has actually been more to me at, like, like a child of mine because he lost his mother when he was only one year old. So... Um, actually him and his other siblings my mother took them on and raised them and the rest of us uh my siblings tried to assist as best we could but you know i don't feel like anyone can ever take the place of a biological mother or father so i thank you for your prayers sincerely oh, yeah. um the other thing that i like to say is that um you know uh, i think commissioner mcneil mentioned about the political forum I think it's going to be this Thursday, May the 12th, uh, as right. Commissioner Roper stated. Please uh, try to attend this forum and learn what your candidates stand for. Don't only go there and listen to what they have to say at that time. Um, do some research. Look at their track record. See how they have... Uh, have have voted and what they've stood for in the past. Uh, someone was recently telling me that currently what we have now as the uh, food stamps uh, procedure policy will be changing, that you have to have children. Now that's just what I was told. I haven't had a chance to research that myself. But if that is the case, we need to definitely uh, step up because there are more people 
than people who just have children under under the age of 18 who need uh, food stamp assistance. So that's a perfect example of why it's so important to vote because uh, you know our policymakers, lawmakers, they're the ones that make decisions like that. So so we need to stay on top of stuff. And there's a political forum being held this week. Please go out and take and listen and go and talk to these candidates who are uh, asking you for your vote to see what they stand for. Um, I give my condolences uh, to uh, former Principal Clayton Mathis' family, um, as well as the other family, uh, Miss Starling, that uh, Commissioner Durham mentioned. I didn't know about Miss Starling, um, so I, I send my condolences out to uh, to all of the families as well. Thank you, Mayor. Outstanding. Um, I I know they didn't get an announcement to us, but um, the CCCUP will be having um. Coffee, Coffee County Citizens United for Progress will be having the baccalaureate services this Sunday at Young's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church at 8 o'clock. And um, I just want to announce that for the CCCUP. Outstanding. Guess I can scratch that off my list. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Beat you to it. Well. Uh, my comments are as follows. Uh, as always at our commission meeting, we have the uh, Coffee County Navy Junior ROTC. Once again, every commission meeting, we have the opportunity to have two fine young adults here. Uh, it's, it's sad that we don't often give them the recognition that they deserve for being good. Because, you know, that good child, we just sort of, oh, they'll be all right. Uh, I was talking to... Uh, Stevie Young, our director of Parks and Recreation, said we had what, like, how many uh, children went up to participate in the state? Almost like 24, 25 kids participated in Gwinnett County Peachtree Ridge High School State Track Meet. And then we had five state champions. And we'll be uh, recognized later on as get everything found out the way. There we go. So once again, there are 25 young adults representing the city of Douglas. Now let's think about that. What are the ages? Ages 7 to 13. 7 to 13. 7 to 13. We send 20, 25 ambassadors of the city of Douglas. And who did we send? We sent our youth. We sent our youth to represent our city. And they done well. And we're, we have four or five state champions. And as we discussed during the, uh, the intermission, is that we're going to bring them on. We're going to recognize them. Good deal, good deal. The next thing is the uh, Relay for Life. I went out there, participated in the Relay for Life. Um, wasn't as big of a turnout as we normally have. A number of the vendors were not there. We just wasn't jam tight like it normally was. So I encourage any business <coughs> that had participated in the past, they're gonna be looking for a new site and once they locate that new site, it would be greatly appreciated if you get back involved with the Relay for Life. The, the impact that they have when somebody is going through uh, that type of event as far as dealing with cancer, uh, you just, you don't realize the encouragement that those individuals that participate give you. So. Once again, I encourage everybody, get back involved in Relay for Life. Please, please get back involved in Relay for Life. Next thing over here, I got my cousin, well, my nephew, Dominique, out of Atlanta. Uh, he drug me down to City Hall yesterday. He wants to know about city government. And the reason why I bring Dominique up is because he watches us on YouTube. He watches us on YouTube. And that's what I always try to express when we go to the economic uh, summits or we go to GMA for an event. The city of Douglas, now everybody plays a role as far as bringing industry and retail here. Because just about everything about the city of Douglas is on the internet. So some of the stuff that's on the internet or wherever that's negative, we never know there could be an investor sitting at their house 
at their coffee table, looking on the computer, looking for a place in Georgia. And there is something about the city of Douglas that maybe negatively impacts that. So we just need to be mindful. And to the parents, you know, teenagers are going to be teenagers. I understand that. But we also have to be mindful of the activities of our children. So school is getting ready to get out, talk with the police chief. You know, we need to get them down there to parks and recreation. Need to get them down there, try to keep.